Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've not posted a video for a couple of weeks just because I was a bit stumped of what to do. Um, I enjoy doing like haul videos and that but um, I've really been trying to sort of save money. Um, so today's video is actually going to be something that I used to watch a long time ago on YouTube and it's like a favourites video type thing so I'm just going to title it probably like things I've been loving. It's not necessarily like a monthly favourites. I know um, when I first started watching, oh, I've got hair somewhere. When I first started watching YouTube, um, Zoe Sug, Lily Pebbles, um, Anna, and loads of the people used to always do sort of monthly. Oh my god, that hair! I think it's gone. We're not always used to do we do favorite videos. Um, there we go, got it. So it's gonna be one of them kind of videos um so it's kind of throwing it back a little bit i don't know if anyone still watches these but it's just something that i thought you know might be of interest i'm not too sure if it's going to be interesting but there's a mix of things in here i've got some homey things um makeup clothes and then i'm gonna add some like tv shows podcast music in at the end so i'm gonna start with um two like home things um and it is a salt lamp um, it's really heavy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. You can see here some tea light holders. They're the Himalayan pink salt tea light holders. Um, and then I've got a big lamp. I don't know if I'm going to have to lift it or not. Let me try. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we go. So this is the lamp. This one's really heavy. It's like the five kilo one, I think. <laughs> five kilo or something like that. Um, and then the candle holders. My boyfriend actually bought these for me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just off Amazon if anyone was interested. I've been wanting one for ages and um, if anyone ever shops at Audi, they do the special buys and they were supposedly have had some in, but I hadn't been to Audi for ages. I had no need to go. So I said to my boyfriend, if he goes to have a look and he, or um, I think his mum went and they asked and they'd bought something like five lamps so they'd all sold out. Um, so he surprised me and bought me them off Amazon and I absolutely love them um, when I'm in bed at night. It's just like a nice warm orange glow. Um, so I've moved my old lamp here, but it's just, I've got a bright white type bulb in that. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice relaxing glow. It does say obviously it's supposed to help with allergies and um, what's it called? I was going to say radiation. Is it radiation from your phone? <laughs> is it iron? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's supposed to help. There's loads of benefits apparently to salt lamps. And this one actually came with the candle holders, the tea light holders, um, which is really nice. Um, I'll grab one. These are actually on. These are heavy as well. So this is a big hole in it. The candle sits quite low. Um, oh. Yeah, and they're just something that I've really been loving. That is things I've been loving. I'm going to have to insert a picture on screen because I don't have them. Um, for a while ago, I'd ordered some prints from Desenio um, when I redid my room. And I used to have like small Desenio prints in here when I had my old room. But before Christmas, I decorated it and I bought some prints, but um, I hadn't got the frames because I've got the biggest size. I think it's 50 by 70. This has a really noise. It's going to fall out and it's pulling. I want this clip. It really pulls your hair. Right. Bit of a hair change. That'll have to do. Um, and for Christmas, my boyfriend bought me the frames. Um, I went for black, just wooden frames, I think they are. So I'm going to insert a picture here of the pictures. I really love these and I think they had a really nice touch to the room. I went for like the nature sort of vibe so one is like a beach scene and then one is just the sea and the sky but it's like a reflection and they're both sort of pinky hues because although I'm not really a pink lover it's really not a colour that I wear or I've ever really loved I quite like like dusky pink in my room so I'm literally the salt lamps are like a pinky orange and then my bedding has got I've got pink cover um two pink pillow covers I have six pillows big pillows in my bed so two of them are pink and then I also had throw which was from dusk and it's pink and grey um but it's covered up by blankets because I have the dogs I could keep my bed bed covered with blankets a lot of the time one so I don't get hair on it but also the mud that comes off of them um, I, I'm actually a little bit allergic to um animal fur not like 
drastically but it just gives me itchy eyes and can make me itchy and sneezy so i don't like them ever like under the covers or on my pillow so i cover it with the blankets as much as i can um okay so moving on the next thing is a fragrance and i bought this for myself actually just after christmas um because i have a little uh, collection of perfumes here my all-time favorite is YSL, ysl black opium um it's the perfume i always wear i have seen actually they do a hair like perfume i think it's like 30 pounds i think it's on sale for just so i really want to buy that because it's got argan oil in it it looks so nice um i also saw that they do a 150 ml bottle of the perfume which looks huge and it looks amazing i've got the this is just the 50 ml so this is why i sell black opium this is just the, like the original bottle it just smells amazing my favorite scent ever um but i wanted to buy i always get like a cheaper one that i can wear for the day because i would drench myself in that um but because it's expensive i don't like to waste it so i've been doing um re this does sound like a research project i was looking on youtube and rachel leary did a perfume video and the perfume some of the perfumes she mentioned um she mentioned why so black open was one of her favorites i thought we'd probably have similar um taste when it comes to perfume and she always mentioned is the um is it the baccarat rouge the one that's like 250 pound from selfridges and i'm pretty sure she said this um smelled like it so this is the ariana grande cloud i've not smelled the baccarat rouge so i couldn't tell you but this is really nice it comes in this really cute little like cloud box i think i just ordered this from like the super or good or like fragrance direct or something oh. but this just smells really nice it's to me it's a bit of a similar scent to the ysl black opium but more daytime that's a bit more musky and a bit more um like of a nighttime fragrance but this is just really nice and i definitely will be repurchasing this i just, I said, I just bought this for myself after christmas because i did get one for christmas um another favorite which is a um hugo boss I don't know what this is called. I don't know if it's just. I'm not sure which one this one's called. I'll write it on the screen. But this is just a really nice Hugo Boss fragrance. And this is just really nice as well. Um, this is like you could you could wear this at night, but it's not as like musky as black opium. So uh, a really good one for day and night. Um, it's a bit more. I'm really bad at describing scents. I was going to say fresh, but it's not like I think of as fresh as like linen smells. That's not what this smells like. It's just a really nice scent. Anyway, I'll write on the screen what it is. But it's really nice. Anyway, I have a couple of other favourites, but this is just a really nice one. I've not smelled her other ones, um, and the only reason I didn't go for some of the others, I think she's got like sweet like candy and I don't know any of the others. But from what Rachel was saying, they're a lot fruitier, and I do like fruity scents but sometimes i feel like they're a bit like young not that i'm old like i'm 22 but i just think sometimes i think the fruity ones i would have wanted to wear when i was in like high school whereas this is just a bit more mature maybe i don't know anyone could wear it but um i think the fruity ones would be really nice on holiday as well so maybe i'll invest one of them because it's nice you know when you're like you've you're going out and you just you've moisturized and you've got like that fruity smell and it just reminds you of holiday i know we're all drinking going on holiday please soon um well i have the money too but it would just be nice to have the option moving on my next favorite actually is quite holiday related and it's a sun cream and i wear sun cream every day on my face and my neck sometimes my hands but i feel it more pointless on my hands because i wash my hands this is actually from a brand called tropic um and this is the great barrier sun lotion and this is in spf 50 high protection i've really rubbed it off but it says a broad spectrum water resistant high protection lotion with the delicious coconut scent to effectively protect your skin from the sun rays while being reef friendly so this brand is um I can't think what the lady's name is but i know she's in business with alan sugar i think they've got like a business together or he supports it but it's like if it's vegan it's cruelty free it's really nice um 
and this is just a really nice sun cream so it smells really nice i got this at the start of last summer um this isn't the biggest tube you've got but so this one is like one you can use all over your body they do have one that's i think it's skin barrier or sun barrier or something which is for your face but i got this because it's a bit bigger and it's a 50 minute and i don't think it really matters maybe i'm not sure i'm not sure if anyone's like a skincare expert if i'm supposed to just be wearing face on my face please tell me that i've been wearing this and really love it it doesn't leave like a white cast um and it doesn't like break me out. i don't feel like it clogs me up or anything i just this is just the last step that i do every morning in my skincare routine which is literally simple it's just moisturizer well wash tone moisture eye cream and then this and it's just really really nice um i would really recommend any tropic product um to anyone i like their cleanser um i used a it was the what was it called it was like a serum i think it was a skin elixir or something like that they do loads of different serums um, they do skincare they do makeup um they do bath hair they do products for men they do a really good range so especially if anyone is vegan um and is looking for things that are cruelty free and vegan because um i know there are brands that do still test on animals so this is just a really nice brand my next product is foundation and this is the foundation that i always use i have a few drugstore brimmer ones but other than that this is the only one i have so this is the ordinary full coverage high coverage foundation formula this is in 1.2 n light neutral because i'm really pale and i really like this so i like the ordinary um skincare anyway um and i just i saw i think aisha and zelia using this foundation and i think i remember them saying it was good anyway I, I saw it on there anyway so i decided to buy it and it comes with a little pump the only thing i wish i had a lid i keep it in the box because it gets foundation around it and i don't want it to make my drawer really messy so i always just keep it in the box so a lid would be nice but i know a lot of people lose lids but i just keep it in the box but it's a really nice shade um it's high coverage so it does like completely make you feel flawless but um i think you can build it up to a higher coverage you could just put like a thin amount on and just really sparsely use it like all over your face and it just doesn't feel heavy at all i am not a foundation wearer um the only time i do it you do wear it is for instagrams for reels for youtube uh, and then when i go out but only if i'm going like out at night or for a nice meal somewhere if i'm just going out in the day i will just generally put um concealer on because i just don't like feeling cakey or that it's going to clog my pores pores up throughout the day but that is just a really nice foundation to use so if anyone hasn't tried it i would highly suggest it next makeup product um is one for the natural day so this is by gucci actually and i saw l darby um talking about this and i got this for my birthday last year for my auntie and it is the gucci multi-use gel gloss i think this is like 18 pounds it's actually just a really nice present to buy people i think i mentioned it in my christmas gift guide but i just think because you get like it comes in the gucci box and bag if you buy it like it um it just looks really nice it's got like a nude lid and then a frosted glass and then it literally is a clear gel i can't put it on because i've got foundation on but on days that i am not wearing makeup um or even not wearing eyeshadow because i could put this on my eyes i will just put this on so it's like a the sticky gloss but if you put this on your cheekbones it just gives you the most beautiful like glow but that color so it almost just looks like you just naturally glow in because no one can see that you've got like a champagne color on your cheeks or i don't know whatever color preference of highlight you use so it just looks really nice my hands are really sticky now um but this is just a really nice product alternatively um the other one i use when i'm wearing foundation to sometimes or a bit of concealer to make it more natural is this nyx one this is the nyx bright idea illuminating stick in the shade chardonnay shimmer and one of my friends bought me this um when did she buy me this when we worked at the restaurant so it was a good two nearly three years ago and i think she was my secret santa um it was my friend chloe she bought me this in an eyeshadow and i today this day still use this highlighter i absolutely love it like it's really sad because i'm i don't know if you can see but i'm right at the end but i literally just swipe this on my cheeks on my brow bone on my nose 
a little bit on my forehead and that is it and then i just use my finger just to dab it in um again just for a really natural look because you've not got any harsh lines or anything like that you can just dab it and pad it pad it pat it along um and it just looks really natural and really nice um so that is a product that i am nearly actually at the end of um but yeah i've had it for two three years i don't know if you're supposed to have kept it for that long it doesn't actually stay on it i feel like it'd be okay. it's okay anyway um next is a lip combo and uh, this is all i've been wearing recently um when i'm wearing makeup and it is the morphe backseat love backseat love um lip liner i heard about this from lydia um i think i mentioned her in my last video um she put this on a story when they had the big sale on i think they were all like two three pounds something like that so i bought this then with a pinky one called foolish um but i've actually don't think i've even used it or i've only used it once i just reached for this one i just think a more brownie nude is a really nice base for a lot of color and then over the top i've been using the charlotte tilbury pillow talk um i've been thinking to myself when i got this for christmas oh yeah like i can save this for nice occasions but oh, we're not going anywhere so i've just been wearing it um and it's either that or velvet teddy that i've been wearing from mac um just a really nice lip combo it's what i'm wearing right now but i have got a kiko gloss over the top but it's just a really nice combo um i do think the charlotte tilbury lipsticks are worth it obviously they're a bit more pricey um but they're definitely worth it even if you've got like the pillow talk lip liner i don't know if they're cheaper i would think they are but I'm, i've not looked into it um but if you got that and then just wore like a cheaper gloss over it that would probably look really nice and you'd still get the, the color payoff if you went for a clearer or similar color um gloss that's just an idea the last makeup product is this this is the benefit bad gal bang mascara my mum bought me a trio of benefit mascaras for christmas so i got this one i got their real and roller lash and i think i'd heard chintzia from sophia and chintzia which is lydia's sister um i think i'd heard her talking about this and so this is why i thought right i'll give this a try because they've got the most insane eyelashes for agency of both of them um i think they are just naturally blessed with long eyelashes and curly eyelashes which i'm not but this i just absolutely love i've got eyelashes on now so there's no point coming close to show you i just think this is incredible all the brushes that i usually use are like bristles and like the figure of eight shape i really like the l'oreal um paradise one so the brush if i can get it Ugh. I can't really get it out. It's coming. So it's like a bristled brush and it's like a figure of eight and it's all bristly. And that is the usual type of brush I use. So I use a collection mascara as well, which again was really old recommendation from Severine Chintzia on their channel. They used to talk about it and use it. Um and I've been using that for a long time and I've also recommended it so recommended it to so many people as well. And then this is like the rubber bristles and it's like a tapered like cone shaped brush and it's really bendy as well look how if you can see i don't want to break it um it's a really bendy brush but it's just so nice it separates your eyelashes really nicely gives them for you and i do find because i'm always one i always do brown eyeliner my like tight line so the waterline like at the top and I don't find if I forget to put it on ever, I don't find myself thinking, oh God, I've got like gap rows. Usually I, I do with mascaras. I think because that one really clings with the rubber bristles. It's just really nice. It just works really well. And I just love it. And it's really annoying that it's, it's not annoying because it's benefit, benefit, but it's just slightly more expensive. My collection one's like three, four pounds. And that one's going to be like 18 pounds, something like that. Um, So that's a little bit annoying for my bank account um, and then the last like cosmetic-y type thing is actually this and it is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Repairing Hair Food and this is in the papaya and amla amla it's a-m-l-a don't know if you can see that um it, this is a vegan formula it says 98 percent natural origin ingredients um so it's vegan it's a biodegradable formula dermatologically tested plant oils and no silicones so this is just yeah this is just a really nice hair mask i'll just use this maybe once 
a week. Oh, that sounds really nice. I've seen Emily Cannon talking about the banana, one of these, but it was sold out when I went into the, I think I got this from the supermarket. I think it was sold out. The banana one was sold out when I went into Asda. Um, and they were bought on offer for like three, four pounds instead of seven, eight pounds, what they usually are. So I picked this this scent up instead. And this one is for damaged hair. Um, my hair's not particularly damaged because I've never dyed it. I don't really use heat on it that much. Um, I, just, I hair dry it sometimes, but I've got one of the Dyson air wraps. So I tend to use that on a cool setting and it works. And then I've just been leaving it to dry. But also at the moment, while I'm not at work and no one's seen me, I've just been having it in French plaits for like three or four days on the trot. So I've not been having to wash it. But this is really nice. It just leaves your hair really um, like silky and smooth and makes it just feel really hydrated and really nice. You can use this. So you can use this in three ways. So you can just use it like as a conditioner, like wash it, put it in and wash it out. Um, then you could use it as a mask. So you can leave it on for like three minutes or you could actually put a small amount as a leave in conditioner. I think it says. Yeah, it reduces the appearance of split ends and leave hair irresistibly soft. I use it as a mask, so shampoo when I get in the shower, then I put conditioner in it, and then like I put a, a shower cap on, I like tuck it all up, um, and then shower and shave and wash my face and that sort of thing. Um, so mine probably gets left into like five minutes, something like that, and then I just wash it up. It just makes your hair feel really nice. Um, and I just really enjoy using it. Say I use it once or twice a week, and it's just a really nice product and i think using a hair mask makes you feel nice as well then you know when you get out of the shower and you can moisturize and just feel really nice just you know a bit of self-love makes you feel good um next we are going on to clothes well i say clothes it's not really clothes it's like pajamas and dressing gowns <laughs> The first one actually isn't going to be that. It's going to be a coat. And this is a misguided puffer coat. And I showed this in a previous haul. Never owned a puffer coat before. So this is, well, I don't think I have. I always used to have like Parkers when I was at school. Um, They were always a thing that everyone always had when, when I went to school. But this puffer coat, so it's a like short bodied this looks huge so it's short bodied and it's in a stone color and it has got a hood so i was looking for a puffer jacket with a hood for dog walks um i mean i was gonna wear this as like a fashion type coat to go out in but it just gets used for dog walks because it's so warm and so nice i actually bought this in a size 14 it was like i think it said oversized fit i can't remember but i bought this in a 14 uh, my usual size is a 10 um so i went to a 14 just so it was like a bit bigger I do look a bit like the michelin man when i'm wearing it and it's a bit square on me it makes me look like five times the size i mean like the arms are really big compared to mine but it's just so cozy and i just much prefer it being a size 14 to be honest i think if it was a 10 then i probably wouldn't be able to get like layers under it i'm gonna move on to the most exciting part pajamas so for christmas i really wanted some pajamas that were like <laughs> they're a bit like grandma pajamas really um and my boyfriend bought me these um i chose them so they're from boohoo but i wanted like the jersey or like cotton brush cotton like long ones long sleeves long trousers button up ones but just because they're comfy and i can wear them around the house and I never stay in my pyjamas that long. I'm, I get out of my pyjamas into like joggers and that, but I just don't like staying in my pyjamas all day. It makes me feel like then when I go to sleep and then like it's not very clean. I don't know. So these these long black wide leg trousers with a white trim. I bought, I bought, <laughs> I asked for these in a size 12, so I'm just, uh, 10, but I just personally prefer pyjamas in a size above, um, unless obviously they're already oversized. But they're just nice and cozy and comfy these are like i don't really know what does it say the material of these because oh no i've cut it out i'll have a look in the other pair and then the top is just black again with the white piping detail and they're just literally the most comfy pajamas ever they're not too hot because they're 
you know i've got a bigger size so they're breathable and the fabric's really breathable so i can sleep in them um i'm usually someone that gets quite warm at night so i'm a cold person all the time but at night i like my room to be as cold as possible and then i can warm up wearing pajamas and blankets on the bed i'm sure that's delightful for my boyfriend when he stays anyway i love the pajamas so much that i bought them in another color <laughs> so this is a plum color with a black trim and i don't think i've cut the label out of this one so i can probably see yay so it just says this is polyester to be honest 50 percent polyester 50 percent cotton but they're just really nice they're like a plum color with the black trim again the bottoms are the same i'm really not showing these very well but you get the gist they're just wide legged trousers with the black trim and they're just the comfiest and at the moment I'm just alternating between these two pajamas because I say they're comfy and whilst my boyfriend can't stay I can wear them and cover the bed in blankets and have the window open at night he doesn't really like that because the, the noise outside that the house is near me either side have wind chimes so when it's windy obviously the wind chimes are going and you can hear everyone in the family and the dogs barking in the morning um, I mean, I tend to get up when they bark, um, when I hear the bark outside, or I'm awake anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. I'm not really a very good at sleeping in, but for him, it likes to have a lion. So he wants the window shut, but unfortunately, I get really hot. Um, moving on from that tangent, I don't really think any of you actually cared about that. The next two things, one's a dressing gown and one's like a cosy cardigan. So my boyfriend's mum bought me this for Christmas. I believe it's from Marks and Spencers. It just says daydreams and duvet days, which I think is really cute. And it's this like white borg sheepskin like cardigan. And honestly, it's just the best thing ever. And it's so cozy and so soft. And do you know what? I can wear this without feeling like a slob because as I said, I don't like sitting in my pajamas all day. I like to get in joggers or leggings and a top. So when I'm in leggings and a top, I put this over the top because then I've comfy and feel like i'm lounging around but then if someone was to look at me or i have to answer the door then i don't look like such a slob because i'm actually semi-dressed um that's my thought process anyway i don't know if they do it for other colors as i said i didn't buy it, it was a christmas present and i've not googled it so but it was from mark spencer i'm pretty sure um and the next thing is also from mark spencer so for christmas also i got the best dressing gown there ever was so this is from marks and spencers my mum bought me this and i asked for a dressing gown for christmas not anyone in particular not a specific one it's definitely marks spencers because this also says daydreams and day duvet days so they're both from marks and spencers because i know this was um both are in a medium as well so my only i didn't i say i didn't ask for a specific dressing gown from like a shop i just said a long one with a hood furry and then I think I said like grey or black, something like that. And this is just the most amazing, I think we have with the candles, but it's so long. Like it go, if I stand up, it base, it hits my ankles. Like it's just, it goes right to my ankles. And I just feel like a plastic tag still on it and that's really annoying. <sighs> oh, it's just so nice. And it's just like wearing a duvet or a blanket kind of contradicting myself here because I'm, i was just about to say that i love wearing it all day which i do when nobody's here because no one can see me all snug in this but it's just the best thing ever i'm just gonna leave it on my lap actually because it's so cozy and it's got a nice tie and i used this tie to do the tiktok curls not today but and it actually worked quite well so if anyone's not tried the tiktok curls go and try them because they actually do work um the only thing for me is I, a person, when I sleep, my hair is scraped onto the top of my head in a bun, all at my face. So having like two plaits here was a bit annoying. And when I sleep with them in French plaits, they're a bit annoying. Like I have to flick them. Like I don't like my hair being on my face. Like my hair scraped out of the way because it's quite long. Um, goes down to here. Obviously it's curly. It's like my waist. So if it's straight, yeah, it's like right. It's like at my waist. So. I don't know how anyone sleeps with their hair down like it does my 
head in like i can't really can't it's just it really irritates me and then it gets me more like irritable and you know you slam in your duvet around and it, uh, the other thing i hate also i get really ocd when i'm in bed and i hate so my pillows all have certain places so um i've got to say i have six pillows i only literally like actually sleep on one of them because i'd like to be quite flat for the bed but i like them to be around me it makes me feel nice and safe and then i like to have them like down the sides of me so then when i turn well they've got the one pillow here but then i've got like one either side so i can just i'm comfy anywhere in life there's a pillow all around me but i get really irritated when like my bottom sheet becomes a bit loose or my duvet or moves like you know when the actual inside duvet moves and then this the actual like quilt cover the sheet is like all gone all loose and then it all gets around your feet and i just get really irritated like i have to sort my bed out before i get into it every night or when i make it in the morning i make sure to pull it all tight so it's comfy again that was a really random tangent that no one's gonna care about my last few things to end this video on our TV shows, a podcast and some music. So we start the music, um, just a random couple of people, um, someone I've loved for a long, long time, um, someone called Matt Corby. He's an Australian um, singer-songwriter and I just think he writes the most beautiful music and it's just really like peaceful. Well, it's like peaceful, but then he has that really like gritty, raspy, tone singing voice that so then when he sings something really passionately like it, it's got that really nice gritty bit in it as well and i love that in songs um if anyone knows the song don't get me wrong by lewis capaldi he does it in when he sings that and i just really like that like <clears throat> gritty sound <laughs> um but yeah matt corby is just someone that i just love um he's someone that i can just put on all the like all the time for all different moods wouldn't play him if i was going out but great in the car in the shower or just like if i'm doing something i can play his music and it doesn't distract me too much um because sometimes i'll put on music because i need like to focus on my work but then i'll sing the song in my head or whatever or, or i'll end up singing the song so his music i find doesn't distract me too much the next one if you don't like country music you're not gonna like this person but it's a lady called carly pierce um her newest single that's come out is called next girl and i'm just a big fan of her i just really like her song so the first song that i heard of hers was hope you're happy now and um but i just really like her with the felt my lisp really came out then i don't know if anyone saw my tongue but my lisp i literally went to talk <laughs> the songs of hers um that i really like um next girl every little thing hope you're happy now um hide the wine um just a load of her songs just really nice just really nice country music artist i'm saying like i know her but her music's just really nice and i really like it if you're not a country fan you're not gonna like it anyway they're just like my top two at the moment that i keep listening to um i really like mira may as well i think that's how you say her name really sorry if i just butchered that um really like her songs let me talk and angles really good song because i like more r&b type music but i really like them as well um so yeah they're i think they're all they're all on spotify um i only use spotify i don't use apple music but they're all on there so um check them out because i just really like them all and let me know what you think of them as well that's sort of the thing and then another thing that i listen to on spotify is a podcast but there's two there's saffron barker's podcast and mum made me do it that's really fun that's a really nice one um with her and her mum just talking about like the, i think the things that everyone can relate to so like her mum talks about um the kids being messy or not leaving um not picking up after themselves and not cleaning up like their dishes and that sort of thing and then saffron talks about things her mum does and it's just really funny and i just think it's really like light-hearted and just like wholesome because it's just it's just things that you know everyone does and happens probably in all british households um and yeah, I just really like that. And then the other one is Sophia and Chintia's podcast, The Girls' Bathroom. I absolutely love that. Um, I've listened to it from the start and I, I just absolutely love it. Um, I think they're really funny and they're a really nice duo there. Uh, really bounce off each other. Um, and they're just hilarious. I just I just think they're really funny. Um, their podcast is like a advice type thing, I suppose. So they do like girl talk one week, boy talk one week, and then I think it's once a month they do the single files because they're both both were single at the start of 
last year i think it was um so yeah they just they just ask for people's dilemmas and what people want advice on and people ring in or type in i'm not really sure email in um to ask for help and they just give their opinions and what they would do um, and it's really funny one of the episodes that i really love was when they had jamie lang on because it was so funny to see them giving their advice and then a male's perspective from Jamie being like, there was just one bit where he literally was like, how many relationships have you guys been destroying? Because it, he was like, your advice is awful because I think they're saying things like, oh, just communicate, just talk to your boyfriend or say this thing. And he's like, don't, don't do that. Like, that's just not what boys will want. So that was a really funny podcast to see the both sides of it. Um, so if you're going to watch one of their episodes, the one with Jamie Lang, I just think is hilarious. And I have listened to it a few times because I just think it's so funny. Um, moving on to, sorry, I've got my dressing gown now. Moving on to TV shows. One that I've been living on Netflix is one called Chesapeake Shores. And I don't think I've ever seen it advertised before. It just came up. And it's just like a family TV show. Like it's, it's literally almost like you're watching like Home and Away or something like that um so it's supposedly set in chesapeake i think it's in virginia i think it's not actually filmed in chesapeake but um it's just a really nice program and um, there's like four seasons on netflix i think they're the other ones due out this year i think um this is a really easy watch they're like hour-long episodes um yeah it's just a nice like say nice family family program to watch i just watch on my own but um, I just really like it. It's really easy. There's no like major drama things that happen where you have to follow storylines. Um, like the next thing that I will talk about is The Bay. If anyone has never watched The Bay, you really need to watch it. So there was season one uh, last year, I think it was. And then season two has just come out. Um, you can watch it weekly or if you just go on to either on ITV. If you just go on to ITV Player like me or ITV Hub, I just binge the whole thing because yeah so it was six episodes though and the last one like you knew everything that happened isn't like they you did see it all happen like and you saw them catch it was like a murder detective show so you saw them catch the person but it just felt like there needed to be more of a round off episode to me i don't know if anyone else felt like that from watching it or if i've missed one i'm gonna have to go check but it's just a really good tv show anything like that luther martell has just come out and i really need to watch that so season one of that was it wasn't even last year it was probably like two years ago so i need to watch the um the new episodes of that because she is just a bit of a psycho really but it was really good tv any like british drama detective tv shows i am all here for they are just my favorite and then the last one is and the last thing of the video also has been a recent watch of mine and it's shit's creek I just think it's hilarious. Like so they're like twenty minute episodes. Um I think there's six seasons. I'm not sure how many episodes in a season, but they're just hilarious. So it's basically about a family that had it all, that they were rich, they had so much money, and then I think they got screwed over by their like business manager and he took all their money basically. So they obviously needed somewhere to go. They were in this massive mansion with staff and everything. Um, and it turns out that years ago, the dad brought this place, Shit's Creek, as a joke for the son or as a, yeah, as a joke for the son when he lost a bet or something like that. So they've moved to the place, but it's like not a very nice place. They happen to live in like a motel. Like it's just not the, the greatest place, but it's just so funny. And it's like an American like TV show. It's just, oh, I just think it's so funny and I really enjoy it. And I kind of relate, like, feel like I'm like Stevie and David that's who I relate to in there um Alexis the sister's a bit like a princess David's just only in some ways I feel like I relate to him because he's quite dramatic but his humor and him and Stevie's someone that works at the motel and David's the the son of the family and they've just got such a dry sense of humor so sarcastic but um their friendship's just funny they just they're I don't know if if you're not a, if you don't really get sarcasm and that you probably won't like it because it's just like dry sarcastic and sometimes you they're, they're so deadpan and so serious that you can't make it out but i just think it's really funny so if anyone wants a nice easy watch to to get through um because i always used to just stick friends on or something to do and something to watch but at the moment it's just shit's creek and i, and I can watch it over um and it's just very funny and i just really really like it um 
And I think that's it. That is the end of this video. I'm really sorry that I went off on loads of tangents in this video and I've rambled on for 43 minutes now. Um, so I'm gonna have to edit this out. Last week, oh my God, I, when I edited last week's video, it took me forever. But I think you forget, like you think, oh, 40 minutes, that's not that long. But then when you actually edit it, it takes you way longer than that because you're having to edit it in the right places, add things in and or it just takes, it just takes a while. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment any video ideas that you have. Um, also make sure to follow me on also make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm just at lifeofcad underscore on there.